Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna do some diagnostic testing, pinpoint tests. And this was gonna work on my Ford 5.4 three valve engine. And this is a P0102, P0104 continuous memory. So here we are, my F-150. This is the mass airflow sensor. This is the pigtail. Now, if you hold your pigtail like this, and you go from top to bottom, which is six pins. Pin number one is air intake temperature. Pin number two is signal return. Pin number three is mass airflow. Pin number four is mass airflow return. Pin number five is power ground. And pin number six is vehicle power. So this diagnostic will go down kind of like a tree always branching out depending on how your answers are going to be but for the first part we're going to diagnose the easiest you're going to look over your air intake system you want to look for cracks you want to look for breaks you want to look at your intake housing here you want to look for obstructions like is your filter really dirty is there something in there blocking it that like animal get in there something you want to examine everything you want to look at all the hoses attached to the intake and verify if they're good or not so if you did find a problem with the air intake system repair it and then see if those codes are still there so this next test you're going to need a scanner i'm going to use my high-end scanner but if you can read live data any scanner will do so let's start the truck <laughs> So for this test, I want to rev it to 1500 and see if my mass airflow sensor will drop down below 0.24 of a volt once it comes back down to idle. So five seconds at around 1500. So we get close to that value. Okay, around right around there. One, two, three, four, five, and drop that down. So we did not go under. So from this test here, it branches off again. Test, I'm gonna follow as if mine's doing it, said no. So the next test is key on, engine off, which I am. Is the voltage less than 0.2 of a volt? And the answer is yes, it is. So then it branches off again from here. So now it is, we gotta start the vehicle, access the MAF PD and see if the voltage is between 0.46 and 244. So start the vehicle. And we're right in that range. So according to the pinpoint test, from doing it to this point here, unable to locate concern at this time. So let's back up. Is the voltage less than 0.2 volts? We're gonna say no. So then we gotta turn the truck off. We're gonna pull the plug out. So I got a multimeter on the negative. We're gonna measure volts. Coming to here, I'm on pin number six. Turn the key to on. So the key here is to make sure that we have more than 10 volts. Whoops. And we got 12. So from this test here, if you didn't have greater than 10 volts, could have a low battery, or you got a short in the wiring somewhere, you'd have to correct it and sort it out. So if you got greater than 10 volts, but still have the issue, we're gonna do another test on the positive on the battery. Come back up here. We're gonna do pin number five and 
key on, engine off. Same thing, we're gonna measure the voltage. And we got 12 volts, which is greater. Now, if you didn't have higher than 10 volts by measuring that, once again, you have a short in the wiring, go back and test. And also from this stage, we tested positive or greater than 10 volts. Now, the next test would involve pulling the PCM connections off and then measuring resistance between pins. I'm not gonna go that far in depth because we gotta back the tree all the way up from the beginning and go down the other tree now. So now we're gonna go back to where we revved up the engine the 1500 for five seconds, came down, and now we're gonna say we've dropped below the 0 0.23, 0 0.24 of a volt. And then this is where we come back and we measure the voltage off pin six. And if we don't have greater than 10 volts, we got a short in the line. So now we're gonna do the same test off pin five. We gotta make sure we got more than 10 volts and we do. So now if you went through all this from both tests on all the trees and you came down to here, then you have issues with the main wiring harness. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I just covered how to diagnose and troubleshoot those tests all the way down. And those tests are leading you to believe if you didn't have a short in the system, if there's no obstructions in the air system, no cracks, then your problem's inside the main wiring harness. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.